Well, good afternoon, and today I've got Jack Stone Merlot. Difficult to see, but this one is um, is from an old historic horse breeding ranch where the first vineyards were planted in the San Joaquin Valley, California, and it's thirteen percent. So, as I almost never drink wine from the U.S. of A. Let's crack on and see what this beast can do, hey? Right, so today this is going to go with fillet steak and peculiarly, a bit much in there, um, leek and a sort of multicoloured um, pepper. Would suit the rainbow set, you know. <laughs> right. Well, we're looking at some nice raspberry looks in here. It's a bit frothy, isn't it? It's got coconut on the nose. Would you believe it? Coconut. Coconut and a good old chunk of oak, actually. Let's give it a whirl, shall we? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows which way the wind blows. Now this is from Aldi's. And this is £7.99. But this week it was a snip at £3.99. So I bought two. Not having a clue what they'd be like. But you know, £3.99, eh? Oh, that's On the nose I'm getting quite a lot of oak, right? But... To taste it's quite interesting it's like pure fruit but yeah with a kind of American oak backdrop uh, I would I would have said that was a Spanish wine to be fair doesn't I can't see what vintage it is it doesn't tell me a vintage but I would work incredibly well with spicy food I must say so that was Aldi's California Jackstone Merlot yeah I'd have said that was a Tempranillo from La Mancha. Or Valencia. It's all right. It, uh, that's what it comes across to me. It's a, a non-Rioca oaked Spanish red. Even at seven ninety nine, it's extraordinary good value for money. And um, at three ninety nine, it was just a snip, you know. And it's the kind of bargain you want to find every day of the week, but you don't. I have to say, you know, if you like um, a really big fruitiness and then a little chipping of American oak on there, but very subtle, that is, you are going to like this. Yeah, if you're into Shiraz, I wouldn't have said that's going to please you. To be fair, but. You know, if you're more of a Cabernet Merlot person or, you know, maybe even Malbec lover, yeah, I th I would give it a go. To be fair, you've got to expand your knowledge of world wine somehow. You can't really go wrong with that. You've got a very nice drinkable wine and it's going to show you a little bit more about, you know, what American oak can do to a wine at its most positive. It's very, very drinkable. It's very pleasant. And, you know, it's not really a wine that would be perfect with steak. But filet steak is, you know, it's the softest steak. And I think it's going to be pretty nice. I'm pretty, pretty pleased about that. So uh, thanks to Ghost of Goose 5 for the tip. Woohoo!